So this is the underside of our water cabinet countertop. And I, the way I'm attaching this is through these quarter 20, uh, three eighths um, threaded inserts. And the way that I'm marking the holes is I've placed the, the countertop where I want it to be. And then where I've got the 80, 20, L brackets, I've used a pencil to mark the locations. And then I've used a little awe to mark the center point. And then I have a nine millimeter that came with the threaded insert kit that I've marked off with tape so that I don't go too far. I did have some stop collars, but I didn't like the way that they were fitting. Uh, so I used this tape instead. And both before I drill that hole and before I insert this threaded insert, I've used this oversized drill bit in reverse to basically cut the laminate without digging into it too far. And that helps to prevent uh, breaks in the laminate. If you're just to try to put these in without doing that, without countersinking the hole a bit, you'll get the, the laminate to lift off as you thread the threaded inserts in. So it comes with this Allen key. Basically just put it into the hole. I usually tap it with a rubber mallet to kind of get it oriented and then twist it down until it's flush. And then you can use quarter 20 uh, bolts to attach. And then the nice thing about that is if you need to take it off, you can take it off. And you also don't have to worry about um, screwing through the other side or the screws holding over time. Um, I like these threaded inserts quite a bit. And this is the countertop after installing the threaded inserts. And then like I said, I'll have a quarter 20 inch bolt that then attaches this to the 8020. All right, so this is the electrical panel top. This is the bottom. You see the threaded inserts have been put in. Okay, let's see. I don't scratch anything up. It still has protective coating on it. We're ready to go test it.